Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we are going to plant the African violet seeds that I got through crossing together two of my African violet hybrids. I do have a video on this. If you missed it, check it out in the description. Today it is time to pot the resulting seeds, which I have contained right here. They're so, so tiny. I'm afraid any type of breeze will spread them in the greenhouse. So I hope they're viable. I hope something will sprout. If not, I will be very disappointed because I do not actually have these African violets anymore. I lost them. I talk about it in that video if you're interested. So what I will do today is use my terrarium mixture actually or the mixture that I use for most terrestrial and semi-terrestrial orchids. It is a mixture of cocoa peat with bark chips and also perlite. It is very airy and the products that I use are listed down below in the description. And I've actually had luck sprouting seeds, although not African violet seeds, in this cocoa peat from Ikea in the past as well. I managed to sprout tomatoes and all sorts of vegetables. So I know that it's not full of salts, which is good. But can this mixture do okay with African violets? I don't know, I will see. I will actually remove a little bit of this bark. It's not super needed for seedlings, but I just don't wanna hydrate another batch. It's just kinda chunky compared to the seeds. And what I will do is plant only one seed pod, and the other one I will keep. In case this mixture doesn't work out, I do have some soil as well, some peat moss, but I don't know if it's gonna work out. We'll see. All right, so, I will actually find a sort of sealable envelope for this seed pod. I will put it in the box for now and I will be working with this right here. This little black dust, yeah, those are the seeds. They are so incredibly tiny. I don't think there's any seed left in the seed pod, but let's just make sure. Oh, ooh, okay. There are still seeds left. They are falling all over the place. So what I will do is start sprinkling it on top of this medium. You will not see anything. There is no point to zoom you in. They're just so tiny. And on this brown medium, you will not be able to see anything, but I can actually see them falling. All right, there's nothing left in the seed pod. And with the remaining seeds, I will do the very same thing. I will just spread them on top of this medium. Alrighty, I hope that I did a good job. Now, the medium is already moist. I don't need to water it. And when I will water, I will make sure to water on one of the sides. Let me show you. And then this medium will just spread this water evenly. I don't wanna water from the top and risk damaging these seeds. They really are super, super tiny. So this is all I'm gonna do. And that humidity and moisture will even out in this container. I'm also going to add a lid just to keep in the humidity. So I will come back with an update when I see something sprouting. Fingers crossed that something will sprout. If not, we're gonna try the other seed pod in a totally different medium. Okay, so if you're seeing this video, most probably something went right. So for you guys, it will be a few seconds. For me, I don't know, maybe weeks. Okay, so let's go to the future. All right, so I don't remember where we left off. It was last year. I'm even ashamed to tell you what time it is. Yeah, it's 2021. <laughs> and these are my seedlings. Look at them. Yes, I just placed all of them, all the seeds in this tray, and I just let them grow. And whoever was the fittest uh, kind of still remains, but I have to do something about them. It's been quite a busy year and it's still a busy time in my life. What was that accent? I don't even know. And I prioritized other things that were more important to me at that time. And I kind of left these guys fend for themselves. But today I do want to separate them. I have some seed trays, I have some soils, I have more seed trays than this. And I'm just gonna pot as many of them separately as I possibly can. And hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the year, we're actually gonna have some flowers because I wanna take care of them. Oh my goodness, look at this. So this side doesn't look all that good, but we do have quite a lot of them looking very nice on this side. Now the white stuff you see, don't worry about that. It's just bird dander and feathers and things of the sorts because they do shed a lot when they shed. So what I'm gonna do, look at that. I can just lift everything up. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm gonna do is just try to separate them individually as much as I can. So let's see what we have. Don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna start somewhere. 
Look at that. Okay, so I am going to separate a few of these plantlets, everything that looks the best, let's say, and pot them separately. The tiny little ones maybe I'm not going to pot because they are actually suckers. They're not seedlings of their own. Hmm, can we see? We do actually have different coloration on the leaf. That's exciting. We're gonna see if they look different between them or not. It would be cool if they actually look different. It is highly, highly likely. And who knows? Maybe one will actually look super, super cute, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and separate these guys as much as possible. Oh my gosh, I have so many of them. Wow. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them. But as I was saying, I'm gonna try to separate individual plants. Oh, look at that. This is a big one. Wow. This one surely can bloom by the end of the year. It would be so neat. Okay, so I think this tray is done. I will continue with another tray. I got myself quite a few trays, don't worry. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some soil and plant them. Alrighty, so I pot them up and I also water them. This soil is super, super dry. I have it for quite a lot of time. I should have moistened it before starting, but it's okay. It's gonna slowly and surely soak up the water. I left some water into the tray, so it's gonna soak it up. It's gonna be fine. These trays have a drainage hole. It's okay, it looks great in my opinion. So I'm gonna put these on one of my shelves and I'm gonna, again, patiently wait for something to happen Hopefully we're gonna have some flowers soon because I I don't even remember how the parents look like. I will have to look back at the footage. Oh my goodness, it took me a while, right? Normally this process doesn't take so long. I just procrastinated a lot. Alrighty, so hopefully we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna have some blooms, yay! And here we are present day, almost two years later since I started this experiment. It took too long, but I did not take care of these guys. I mean, look at them, they're in a tray. I need to separate them. Totally did not do this right, but I will repeat the experiment. I'm so addicted to making my own hybrids because I got some really good ones. I'm gonna give you close-ups of these guys. At least two of these hybrids I really, really like, I find special. The other ones, they're beautiful, but I've seen others looking like that. So the first one that opened is this beautiful pink ruffly petals with a green edge. It is beautiful, but I did see others. I like the coloration though, it's a muted pink, of kind of a dirty pink, they call it, kind of matches with what I'm wearing. And I'm definitely going to keep it because I do like it. It's beautiful, but you know, I don't think it's something special. The next one that opened is a sort of a cup shaped flower that again is pink, but doesn't really have that beautiful ruffly edge. Also the flowers slightly distorted. They're, they, they don't have a nice shape. I think this particular one is a bit of a failed hybrid. Some of the flowers don't even open. They have some deformities. This one, I don't think I'm gonna keep. But then we go to the good ones. I have one that is such a beautiful, purpley star-shaped flower with a white edge, a little bit of a frill on the edge, and also that coloration, look at that. It is lighter towards the center and more intense towards the edges. I think this is something special. Obviously, there are so many hybrids out there, I don't know them all, but from what I see on the internet or in videos, this is quite special. I'm so happy to have this. I really, really like it. Let me know if you think it actually looks like something else because I'm thinking maybe to go through the process of actually registering some of these hybrids. I don't, I don't know, I'm just saying now. I need to propagate them and see if they bloom true throughout the propagations. There's a whole process. I don't even know if these hybrids are vigorous, but I think this is worth trying to register. I think it doesn't really look like many other hybrids, but anyway, and the last one that just opened, I have a few more though, but I just couldn't wait to show you. The last one is a beautiful, again, kind of star-shaped flower with a ruffle at the edges, but it has a fantasy pattern, which means that it has some dotting and streaking, and towards the center, it has white. Do you see that? 
I find this one super beautiful as well and it's a very deep purple. But look how much variety I got from the two parents. In your memory, it should be very fresh how the two parents looked like and if you missed the previous episode, check it down below, I'll link you to it. I filmed that one two years ago. In my memory, I completely forgot how those hybrids looked like but Look what I got. They are all different. I have a few more that didn't bloom. I don't know if they're very vigorous to be fully honest. I will move forward in separating them, potting them in their own pots. I'm gonna do all that as soon as I possibly can. And of course, stay tuned for some more updates. If anything else looks very interesting, of course, I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna show you in my future African Violet videos because my leaves are really taking off. They produced babies. So soon enough, we're gonna have to pot those ones. I'm gonna give you updates on these ones as well. And when those bloom again, we're gonna do this all over again. I am so, so happy with this process. It was such a joy, minus the whole delay, which, you know, shouldn't have been there in the first place, but I dealt with a lot of things, including strips. There was a whole thing going on with the plant room, but I'm gonna do it properly now. And if you guys have African violets, let me know, are you tempted to try to obtain your own hybrids? It's really, really easy. I didn't think it would be so, so easy. You really don't need anything special. You can do so with the soils you have, with the African violets you have. You don't need to have super special ones to just get a whole bunch of new African violets, which potentially nobody in the world has. How cute is that? Let me know. I am. I'm sold. I love this. I'm gonna collect African violets as much as possible, like I'm collecting orchids. I'm hooked. I loved the process and I loved the anticipation of just seeing what I'm gonna get. Anyway, so if I do decide to register them, I'm gonna try to go through the process. If any of you ever registered your own hybrids of African violets, if you have tips, let me know in the comments below. I did find the uh, African Violet Society of America, I think that's how it's called. They do have a procedure there. If I go through with it, I'm gonna make a video and tell you all about it. But for now, that has been it. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey. And for those of you who have been waiting for two years, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It shouldn't have taken this long, but I completely mistreated these plants. No more. So righty guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. And yeah, I, I think it's absolutely amazing. Try it, just try it. If you have store-bought African violets, try to hybridize them. It's so fun, I can't even explain. I don't know why I'm so hyped about this, but I loved it. Anyway, so let's end it here. Thank you for watching the progress. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it inspires you to create your own hybrids. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and so on, I'm at Miss Orchid Girl. The best thing to do is just to subscribe to this channel because I post regularly, very, very regularly. So with that said, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.